Well, fuck, right. Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, no, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, not, not, no, okay. Well, we're, we're here now, I guess. Hello. Yep, back, back here at the post office where we gather on Friday. Uh, so Grant's, Grant's going to join us in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to going to play a certain western game that i know y'all have been anticipating very hotly but in the meantime we got a lot of we got yeah we got wow big stack big stack so (laughs) well here's a letter all right let's take a look at at this here here knife there we go we got lots of shit to get through so (laughs) thank you very much by the way yes no man's shit they got us oh damn damn well the japes out red dead revolver yeah, that's, nope, that sounds good. Mm. Uh, Kerna Curry, thank you for the sub. Oh. I mean, I can grab a package while we're also waiting. Yeah, let, let's see. I got... This is from Colin. Um, oh, Colin wants to know if uh, we do uh, autographs. We do, uh, we do ask that you send a self-address stamped envelope, though. Uh, and we will absolutely autograph whatever you like and send it right back to you. Um, yep. All right. Well, that's uh, we got got quite the letter here, but uh, thank you so much, Colin. And yes, we do do uh, we do do autographs. Just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. All righty. So that we can get that back to you. We have All some. Right. We have something here from. Uh... We have no name, but it does say the TFS Beard Crew. So that doesn't oh, mean you. You're oh, out. You're oh, excluded. No. Well, it's that's, that's all your fault. Just for you. Just, just for me just right for now. Just for you today. Just for me. Dear TFS, I have been uh, I have been following you guys since the first episode of DBZA, and I can't wait to see what you do with the Boo Saga. So I enjoy your newer stuff, AM, uh, Anime FMK, The Unexpectables. That's Taka, but thank you very much because we are part of it. Hey. Uh, TFS at the table and roll with me. I recently introduced my girlfriend to DBZA, and she enjoyed it as well, despite never having watched DBZA. And she thinks really, ah, someone else to the Beard Club. Hello, friend. Hello. So this will be for you. You you can't have any of this. This was addressed to the Beard Club. Oh, I saw that box. No, 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 you can't. I recently introduced my girlfriend. Enclosed, you will find six beard uh, bombs made by my girlfriend for everyone at TFS Beard Crew. She has been making her own cosmetics and jewelry for now, uh, for a while now and just recently started selling them. She sells them and several other products on Etsy at Rosebud Apothecary US, all one word. All of her products are handmade and orga- with organic ingredients. Thank you guys for all you do so for, and for bringing so much enjoyment and laughter to many people. Keep on keeping on, R.C. Wheeler. Ooh. All right, so uh, no, I I set off a beard bomb. That's why my beard exploded. All right, all right, you <laughs> be you, careful. You, it caught fire. All right, now now don't get set on fire. Passing this over uh, to, to him now because we all know, as we all yeah, know, you never have beards. <laughs> Thank you. No good. Thank you very much. <laughs> as someone who does what you're supposedly not supposed to do, and that is use head shampoo on his beard, uh, I'll get a use out of this. I'm sure. If, oh shit, you're not. Spo- <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah, if that's something you're not supposed that's, to do, that's the word I've heard. What? Is like so, I, I remember someone saying like on a podcast, like I just use shampoo, like the regular head shampoo, and the rest of the podcast table was like, no, don't do that. And should we pass these on <laughs> over? <laughs> that's what I do. Hopefully, it's not that weird. Uh, and you can grab that white one right there, because this one is addressed to me apparently. Ooh, just for Zito's. To Zito. Well, hold on. I think that one's. Uh, that one's to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, here, tra- trade you. Trade. So I was like, I know there was one in there that was also specifically addressed to me. This is from one DJ Quinn, who has uh, talked to me over Twitter, so I have a feeling i got to guess what these are. We've got some Japanese Tales games, Ooh. because I can't have enough of games I've already played but in different languages. Oh, uh, that's from uh, from D Junk One Hundred One. Oh, that's a go. that's a name I recognize yeah. from chat. Yeah, thank you, D Junk DJ Quinn on on the box. We've got some Tales of Zillia One and Two in Japanese. Tales of Symphonia Ooh. Chronicles. Hmm. Tales of Zestiria, and the little known Tales of Hearts R for the PlayStation Vita, Ooh. all in Japanese. And some tissue paper for packing. Thank you so much. D junk, I will display Oop. these proudly. Oh, and D junk's right. in chat right now. Thanks, awesome. D junk. All right, Thank you so, so much, now man. we will expect these to be on your personal stream from start to finish, chronological order. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> and I'll nightmare mode. 
Okay. In Japanese, you have to speak it as well. All right, perfect. Okay. <laughs> yes, you accepted. may only speak Japanese. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I have confirmed your command. <laughs> that is the extent of my knowledge. <laughs> something, something, death. So all these, all these, this whole year and change, I've been saying, yes, I'm Eloy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can confirm it. You want to head back this way since you didn't get chance? <laughs> well, I would, except this one also for Grant, according to the... Uh, I'm so glad I decided to be the on Casual Friday this yeah. week. I might have missed you, out on you this. You can have get this big-ass box then. <laughs> Uh, I remember you reading an excerpt from this. Oh, I already know where this is going. Uh, <laughs> and thought it was great and wanted to hear more of it. So I thought this deserves, uh, so I thought you deserved this book. It's time to get nostalgic. From Connor, a.k.a. Conman55. Uh, I've read a couple excerpts in my time on my personal streams from old-ass kids fantasy sci-fi novel books that I would read growing up. Nice. And we also had the word on the street, so it could be from... Yeah, word on the street Bible! We got another. Let's go. Let me pull up a random verse. All and right. uh, Let's hear it. See if we can understand how how we're, how we're reaching the youth uh, of today <laughs> with the good news. So every, every cabinet in this office needs to have at least one copy. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden somewhere in one of the drawers. Oh. Let me, let me look up a let me look up a known one. Let me let me get to let me get to some. Hold, ooh, hold on. What's what's the one that tells us how to feel about gay people? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's <laughs> let's see how we let's see how we <laughs> let's see how we equate that. Well, let me. I uh... feel like that was a. I want to say that was that's some Old Testament stuff when they. Sounds like it, but I don't know. <laughs> no one reads the New Testament <laughs> or Genesis. I'm sorry. I should know. I'm fucking Catholic. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to hold off on this real quick. Well, while you're looking that up, we've got... Uh, Paul adds, don't live like the majority, belly first. You got a passport to heaven in your bag, and you're just waiting to be picked up. <laughs> Philippians 12 through 14. <laughs> or uh, Philippians 3, 12 through 14. <laughs> Jesus. That's Jesus. The, uh, apparently the... Uh, the paraphrasing of that. Excellent. Man, I, I, get, I think that was aimed at me because I'm going to be heading back to New York over the vacation there you for go. winter. <laughs> All right, we're looking for Leviticus 18.22. Leviticus 18.22. All right. Oh, fuck. It's been, a, it's, been a while. it's been a while since I've uh, gone through Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. All right, yeah. It's after Exodus. God, if you asked me like where this shit is, like maybe like three years ago, I probably would have been able to tell you. <laughs> oh boy, they just skip it. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> the Book of Leviticus, which by the way is like the Book of Laws, like an oh, wow. uh, is given exactly one page uh, <laughs> here in the Word on the Street Bible. Moses writes about God's instruction manual on just about everything: rituals, national festivals, offering service outlines for God's tent, piles of stuff on personal and spiritual hygiene. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it lo looks like this is just the, uh, it feels like the back of the book paragraph they would put <laughs> on Leviticus if you had it. Uh, I want to see if they say anything about, uh, let's see, we've got sabbatical years every seven and jubilee years every 50. Got a threat and a promise for most of what he reckons the Israelites were up to. <laughs> uh, you know, just we couldn't get them on the horn, those yeah. wacky folks, those. Uh... <laughs> Uh, let's see details of sacrifice show how god's gonna deal with the mess that blocks his people off from him with blood it's that serious messing up god's orders <laughs> makes him mad <laughs> thank you word on the street bible uh, <laughs> holy uh, shit one rob lacy without you the word of the lord would never reach an urban youth like me <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and open this book. yeah go for it Okay, from Cartoon Kitsun. I think I already know what this is. Ooh. I have been given a warning of this. Oh, God. We gotta... uh, mm, okay, I've actually been specifically asked not to read this out loud oh, on stream. Oh, okay. A personal note. It's a personal note. But, oh, boy. Oh, Do you... boy. Okay, so... For those who have never been to my streams, you don't know anything about this, and I'm sorry, but for those who do know, this might be a familiar face. So, so this would be thing one. Yes. <laughs> and this is thing one, and now here's thing two. Now, if you've seen my emotes on stream, this now might be a little familiar. That's a familiar. A this familiar is a familiar boy. one. Holy shit. Well, 
Now this actually okay. So one, two, three. Not including the two I've gotten from Cartoon Kitsune already. We already are with these two. Three out of the eight characters I've drawn from my own personal streams. Nice. Oh man, nice. That That's is awesome. fucking amazing. Thank you so much. And they're so cute. It's a little me. It's a little kobold me, aka the OCs. <laughs> Original character. Do please. not steal. No, but don't please steal. Go I'll, ahead kill and I'll kill you. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we got this one here from Ameramani. Holy shit, that's big and you can't see it because it's blue! <laughs> yep. <laughs> big blue invisible box. Saying, I offer this in preparation for January 2019-ish. Fun fact, this also doubles as a callback to the first thing I ever sent you guys a few years back. Is this a keyblade? Oh, this might be a Keyblade. That's what, that's the only thing I can think of in January 2019. Uh, I know we got some Keyblades. I'm, I'm, pretty, seeing a, I'm pretty sure he sent us a Keyblade. It's one of the first things he sent us. I'm seeing a Disney logo. Oh, oh, oh there we go. There we did go. Grant oh, call my God. It, did Grant call serious? us? Grant fucking called it. Wow. Keyblade. Yeah. And that's a good looking one, too. Yeah, Holy shit. It's got some sheen to it. Let's get up in here. Don't, don't brute force the box. We don't. We no. don't. Don't brute force the box. Let's see. Oh, they have that the the wire tie business of yeah. Hold you're not, on. You're not walking out of this Disney store with this. I got this. Also, we got we got way more things. So let's. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Amir. I will, I will be sure to uh, unlock the keys to the city. Uh, One day. All we'll submit. One day, <laughs> yeah. we will know One what the fuck Kingdom submit. Hearts is. Uh, okay, here we go. This this one's addressed to Ben. Oh. Uh, but I don't know if it's actually for you or if the note is just being cheeky and poking fun at you. <laughs> I, I was about to say, so that, that one, the Keyblade was not specifically... <laughs> addressed to anybody, but I feel like that is one more thing this stream that it's like, well, I'm getting nothing out of that. Vocal, <laughs> vocal Kingdom Hearts scoffer. <laughs> But, uh, yes, this says, Ben, so getting too many nerds rope finally, well, here's some more rope of a different sort to make your dentist some money before you switch to carrots or something. We got sweet tarts rope. What the oh, fuck? I didn't even fuck. know that was a thing. I love those. Blow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I don't know if I've had this particular, like, Feels like there are a few different kinds of these ropes with like the the, the creamy center stuff inside. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Out. And I tend to like them, so I'm gonna assume I'll like this too. But let's let's find out. Oh my god, I am ready to fucking stream. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, that's really good. I already like this somewhat better than Nerd's rope in that it is multiple small ropes, so I don't feel like I'm dedicating to a whole package when I open it. Oh my god. No, I'm into this. Yeah, that's good stuff. That was from, uh, I think it said T-A-R. Yep, T-A-R. Thank you, T-A-R. Thank you. Or TAR! Well, I guess now they know what other candy I like. <laughs> good stuff. Now, Zito, all he needs is coffee. You say that someone gave, someone gave the office a... Little thing of Wawa coffee, and I said, "You motherfuckers are giving that to me this instant. <laughs> that is home." There was no fight. Listen, I already have been like reliving my fucking like clerks on the roof playing <laughs> hockey moment for a couple of days now, and it, holy shit, if you could keep re make, keeping me relive that, I'll be the happiest man on the planet. <laughs> Wawa, no, you didn't spell it wrong. That's right, W A W A, and the W's are capitalized. <laughs> Double Washington. <laughs> All right. What do we got over there? All right. Let's take a look. Okay. Let me read this letter first here. Not a letter, but. All right. Let's see. Hi, TFS. I really want to say this is for Kieran, but I guess we'll have to wait and see now, won't we? Hmm. Well, Karen is here, but I believe Karen, he's Karen, talking with Scott right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Karen's uh, kind of off in uh, the office for a minute, but I will hold this to the side for him. But it is from, you guessed it, <laughs> a bear. The boy. The boy himself. So we're going to hold this off. I already saw what it is, chat, but we'll let Karen see it. We'll give him a surprise. 
can confirm Wawa is some dope coffee. See, even Brian knows. <laughs> Live Studio Brian's in the chat right now, and he can confirm. I've shared a portion for the man. <laughs> I've, I've given, I've given him a small... He the nectar. He gets, a, he gets a taste, a small taste. All right. Uh, we got more boxes over here. Oh, more boxes. Oh, we got, we got three more boxes. So pass that one. Perfect. Here and here you are. All right. And I'll take this one. I feel bad because somebody was asking me, what kind of coffee do you like? I want to sell you some, sell you. I want to send you some coffee. And I felt bad because I couldn't figure out the polite way to say, I'm a, I, I'm really particular about coffee to the point where if you're sending it to me through the mail, it's probably already too stale for me. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> I need that fresh roasted shit. And it turns out there's, there is a local roasters literally just down the street. So Here, I can get that shit. Here's in the chat. I'll, there's a box for you. Uh, when you're not busy, pop in. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you guys a hint when it comes to coffee, because these are really two fucking good ones. Especially, you know, Wawa for me, obviously. But Wawa's pretty good that anyone else can enjoy it. Death Wish Coffee. That's the good shit. Yeah, Karen, we got a box for you. Right here. <laughs> when you get a chance, get in here. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this one is for Zito or Lanny. Wow. All right. Want to want to trade? Yep, trade you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Holy shit! I'm getting all the things, and I'm moving. Soon. <laughs> oh yeah, jeez. All these boxes I gotta take home. To Zito or Lanny. Uh, hope these help you with your D and D games. We started using this trick after, uh, after we wore. We. Handwritten letter? Yeah. <laughs> oh, after we wear moles in our HP boxes? What? Okay, I'm sorry. Like like a like a like a wear bear or a werewolf, a wear mole? It's it's either war or worn. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep okay. going, I'm sorry. <laughs> Great for tracking temporary HP modifiers. Oh, okay, no. So it's it's a help uh, helpful stuff to keep upkeep bookkeeping and everything. Gotcha. Oh, okay, cool. So cool. I don't know where I got wear moles because I'm looking at this and it just, it just that looks like a wear war. I'm sorry, handwriting. Thank you for making such entertaining campaigns. The beginning of each work week is the, is made bearable because of this. Aw, oh, jeez, thank Aww. you. I know a new role with me and TFS at the table will be there when I get home in the morning. Keep up the fantastic work. P.S. Zito, I wanted Ezra to accidentally kill Wake. Unintentional player deaths are never fun unless it's totally accident or a last mo moment of greatness. If a... Uh, tear is shed or a laugh cannot be contained then you know their death was all will always be remembered <laughs> pps everyone is welcome to trade their gifts if they already have one i don't mind ppps <laughs> grant's gift will be sent soon hopefully next week sorry grant Th live. well thank you very much let's see what we got here Oh boy, it's like going back to school, but for tabletop. Yeah. Right. We got got some dry erase boards. Dry erase boards. Markers. Holy shit! Okay, economy size sheet protectors. Mm. Oh, and here we go. Here's name stuff. Is it weird that a part of me kind of misses back to school shopping? Like it was sort of like an exciting reset One for you. button. Ooh. Of like, oh man, I'm gonna have new trapper keepers, new folders. Oh, like, we. I'm getting to set up a new theme for a year, and that that was real fun. Yeah. We also got a couple things in here for Scott. <gasps> oh, oh, nice. Well, I know he's also somewhere in the building. And one for Kieran, too. Well, well. And one for Lanny. All right. Well, this one says, To Ben, where do I start? Eloy is my favorite character, and I try to catch... Aw, oh, try to catch the adventures of Bink when I can't sleep. Aw, oh, that's my that's my morning streams, streams, night streams, whenever I feel like it's streams. <laughs> this is to thank you for all the clever puns and punish you for the sick jokes. You'll know which is which. Okay, so we got Star Wars customizable card game. Nice. All right. Oh, well, that's the box. I'm not sure if that's what's inside. This seems like oh, maybe... Like two decks of it. Yeah. Or maybe it's just convenient packaging. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> oh, Ooh. we got a little, uh, got a little Ness amiibo. Wow. I'm assuming amiibo. Yep, yeah. amiibo. Cool. From, uh, from Earthbound. Nice. Also... Those little deck boxes are good for amiibos. That, that is, that's and a Lucas. Yep, uh, this boy from the the game that shall not be named because the game that will oh. never come out because <laughs> yeah. Nintendo oh, doesn't want to because Nintendo's all about that censorship and if it comes over that's gonna ruin the whole entire plot. <laughs> oh boy, Klaus. 
Got yeah. Sans Undertale, says someone in chat. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Three Skeletons. Sans. Sans and his brother, Papyrus. Sans, free time skip. Uh-oh. Uh, we got a little... Uh... Oh, can you... Uh... Yeah, wake go. up. Yeah, just wake that sucker up. All right. Well, thank you so much. That's really cool. So we got stuff for uh, Lanny, who's not here, Kieran, who's in the other room, and I don't know where Scott went off to, but we'll see. Because he's got he's got two things in there, actually. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oops. We'll make sure they get them, regardless. Thank you so much. Well, I know you just opened the Amiibos, but you've also got that box on your lap. I do, and this box is also... Addressed to Zito. Well, Fucking well, well, yeah. well, why? What the hell? <laughs> Where have I gone? Oh, anyone is welcome to open landings. I don't mind. Well, do you think we should do it, or do we want to wait till later? Oh, hey, Karen. You got a couple things in here. I do. Uh, you do. What's so, this? this is yours. These are so fucking cute. Holy shit. I know, right? Those are great. That's, That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna say. People at home can hear hear here, every yeah. every and, uh, interesting, handsome comment I have to make. <laughs> Even though you're just off camera. Well, that's fine. What the fuck is this? Something. Star Wars customizable card game. Oh, for Bill, Billy Punchy Face. Was this helping your training? Also, I really uh, enjoyed your stream Sunday morning. Was that Elite Beat Agents? Yes. Oh, what is it? I think those boxes have just been used for packing. Yeah, well, they let, seem well, to let's be. Take a, a look then. Convenient size. Paper, just a bunch of paper, a bunch of stuff, and inside is yes, my man. Oh, Ryu Amiibo. Uh, Goku is in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Goku was here the whole time. The Goku that made it. <laughs> yeah, and Vegeta's gonna be in the next one. Don't worry. Yep. Yep. <laughs> blonde, really? blonde, long hair. If the internet is yeah. to believe, we're gonna get Vegeta pretty soon. Yeah, Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta. <laughs> He's a, then... he's a really bad clone character. He's a really bad Echo Man. <laughs> I want to say it's right. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what we need. Okay, thank you, Amir. Let's let's see. He wants to say this is for me, but he doesn't know. So now now that has me doubly curious. <laughs> that man is crazy. He's, he is he, crazy. He, he got you a Keyblade. Yeah. Well, look at look, check that shit out. That yeah, fucking thing's ready for the Oscars. Nice oh, what the fuck? Wow, yeah. Oh, is that the PDP one? Hang on. Is that? It's, is it's that... Kingdom Hearts three. Uh, no, because there was, branded, there was so. one. Uh, there was a certain like brand that I was looking yeah, at. Yeah, PDP. Too. Yeah, this is the PDP one. I was gonna get this. Holy shit! <laughs> well, there That's you so go. Cool. Let me see. <clears throat> he uh, he assumes this is for 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 me, but I'm I'm not you sure. You wanna? What up? It's not getting out. There we go. It's a oh, bag. Oh, I know what it is. Exactly the right. And size. I have uh, all of these <laughs> already. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, oh boy! So did anybody want? Uh, oh man, Starlink. I, I, yeah, uh, the, the R-wing. I can amiibo. give anyone the game because I have the digital version, but I've been dying for that R-wing. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool because once you uh, once you register it, you have it forever, so you don't even need to like put it back on the thing. Oh, that's no, cool. that's handy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw some uh, Brian playing that the other day. It looks really good. It, it's it's re it's really cool. It's like No Man's Sky, but. With not See, random I'm, shit. I'm in the I'm in the opposite spectrum of that. I want the toy, but I don't want the game. Wow. <laughs> Here you go. No, give it, you can take it. Listen, I'm moving. Civil I don't give a war, shit, motherfucker. <laughs> I will gladly give that to you. I have oh, enough it comes shit. With a little fox pilot. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, you put you put him like on the, uh, you put him the ship on the on the dude. Yeah, I, I I downloaded the game. I played like the first two missions, and then I was like. I feel like they're doing a lot of, you should put your toy on now. And I'm like, well, I got the digital one. I don't really have it. Don't toy. need it. Yeah. Do not there need you it. Go. You don't need to. Yeah, I've been told really later don't. that, like, actually, it's way better to just do the digital version. Yeah. But I still want that R wing. All right, so let me take a look at what this is about. Hi, TFS. Something for Zito. Motherfucker. <laughs> Something for Zito because he, uh, he ordered his Cobalt Army assassins to off me if I didn't send this from... Inamhar Rima. Hee <laughs> hee, they'll never realize that's backwards. Wait, don't type that. <laughs> what do we have here? You fucking absolute! Wow, wow! That oh, looks man. really cool. That oh, is, is that the limited super, edition yeah. Owl Boy? That's awesome. It blends in perfectly yeah. with the with the post office. But oh yeah. wow! <laughs> you can tell it's limited because it's translucent. Yeah, you can see right through it. It'd be like, hard to find. Wow! It. 
I yo, still yo Adrian, if you're watching, check it out. <laughs> I still haven't played Owlboy, but I have only heard positive things. Yeah, everybody says it's really good. I'm, I'm very curious about it. Spoilers. It's super good. <laughs> All right, I think this is the last box I here. Think so, yeah. It was not addressed to anyone specific, but it seems that's because we can all enjoy. Uh, this was from Noah from Hawaii. Ooh. From Hawaii. Who uh, sends some Hawaiian host snacks. Uh, like we got some macadamia stuff. Creamy milk chocolate covered macadamias. So. Hot damn, I love macadamias. Hawaiian hurricane toppings, uh, mochi what crunch and nori. What? Um, that sounds awesome. Kona, 100% Kona coffee. Ooh. Farmer's choice. Okay, if that is wow. If that is 100% Kona, I will. Speaking as the the coffee snob, <laughs> that is that is the real shit. I will. Yeah, you can okay. have that, but I would like to have at least one cup. Yes, we will. I mean, send us a goddamn pound, which is. <laughs> A pound of 100% Kona, it does not come... Maybe it does if you live in Hawaii. I don't know. But, mm. yeah, we will uh, we will enjoy that shit together. <laughs> awesome. Some more Mochi Crunch and Nori toppings. And Lee Hing Mango, mango with plum powder. And it looks like what? it's kind of like a taffy. Mm. Holy oh, shit. Oh, okay. It's like a dried, stretchy mango. That looks cool. Yeah, looks like just dried mango. Need, with, uh, uh, need a knife? Uh, no, this one's got a pretty easy... Where scissors at? I want to free my keyblade. Uh, scissors, we uh, do not have scissors. We have knife. Like anything oh. that cuts. Here you are. So I can stab it in my eyeballs. <clears throat> All right. This is a bit of a long one, so I'm going to try and skim it real quick. Make sure it's actually... <laughs> this is the most blood shuriken ever. <laughs> uh, dear Team Four Star, if by some miracle you guys happen to be opening this package on a live stream... Oh, hey, oh, there you go. Uh, if at first glance this letter seems too long to read out loud, don't feel that you have to. No. Uh, just know that this package is from Valo, uh, at Valo underscore NY on Twitch, uh, and that these are just a few treats from Hawaii that I hope you will enjoy in appreciation for all the work you guys do at TFS. Uh, just a heads up, uh, your fingers will get dirty when eating the popcorn uh, and the the the, the lighting mango, or the, the linking mango. Uh, so napkins or paper towels are a must for these snacks. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope no one is allergic to nuts, but just in case someone is, the macadamia nuts are all individually wrapped, so I hope that helps a little. Uh, if there are any left over, feel free to take any home for your significant others if you think it's something they'll enjoy. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, I'm going to grab this. Just says that they've been a, a, a fan for a long time. Uh, went through some... Some rough times back in 2011, uh, and we, we really helped them out with our content. Uh, thank you so much for what you do. P.S. I hope most of you in the office on the in the office can enjoy the chocolate covered macadamia nuts and at least sample some of the hurricane popcorn. Uh, should any of you guys happen to find yourself traveling to the island of Oahu, uh, I'd be more than happy to send you some info about some great places to grab food. Uh, all right. Really? Once again, thank you, and have a great holiday season. Who is that from? Thank N you very much, Valo underscore NY on Twitch. They did, uh, and or yep. Noah from Hawaii. Noah, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, I'm Noah. Excited yep. for the toys. And yep, Valo's uh, over there in the chat. I did find the package with the popcorn. We've got one with popcorn, and then two that are toppings for the popcorn. So. Oh, dope. Yo, yeah. dope. That's cool. Very cool. Thank you. You were, gotcha. Okay, there were the guys. I, I don't know what to tell you, but this whole stream has been hitting my snack fix like fucking crazy, <laughs> like on point. I like chocolate covered nuts. Read into that, how you will. Uh, gonna try these macadamia. Remix it into a silver gunner rip. <laughs> oh, these are good. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, those are great. I'm a fan. Um, all right. I'm just going to clear these boxes real quick, and then we can move on to everyone's favorite new release Western of 2018. Yes. I wonder if we should get a... I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get a certain song going. Oh, yeah. Just for the sake of it. Go for it. You play your mix. Mm -hmm. As I move these snacks to a place where I will not be sitting on them or having them sit on my lap. Thank you once again, everybody who sent stuff. Thank you. Quite delicious you. and quite fun. Now that I have an R wing for my for my shelf, I'll finally start playing Starlink again. Let's get this song going. Do we 
have our, uh, do we have it set to this one at first? Yeah, yeah, that's all. Okay, sweet. Yeah, if we can see it on the TV, I think it's there. So if we can, when, when the song kicks in, let's switch over. Alright. Are you guys ready for the best Western game of all time? <laughs> yes. Indeed. Are you ready to be Custer Dreve Oh wait, what? Okay, second best. <laughs> second best of all time. The best that's allowed on Twitch. Yeah. I hope I hope you fellers are ready for a little bit of high flying rootin' tootin' action. Yep. Well, not me. I have to get back to work on the railroad. So we got ourselves an Oregon <laughs> an Oregon trail. <laughs> Here. I don't. I don't want to be at the helm for this. <laughs> All right. I'm no. I'm no good. Uh, no good wagoneer. All right. Well, let's. All right. Who's ready for dysentery? All, let's, I was gonna say. All I ever did back in the third grade, the last time I played the Oregon Trail, was get dysentery. <laughs> no, I died of typhoid. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I would always try to be a doctor or whatever. Or is that? Am I thinking of something else? Maybe I'm thinking. Of uh, I think you can be a doctor. Okay. Well, let's, remember, we can only carry 20 pounds back to the wagon. More. Keeps going. Yep. <laughs> Yeehaw! Mmm. Thank God Silver Gunna exists. <laughs> no, it's kind of a gift to mankind, honestly. And look at Sans up there busting a groove. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess this is the spooky layout. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, now you can cut it because it's gonna hit a new song. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. Does Oregon Trail have a soundtrack? Um, it it, it apparently <laughs> does, but I could not get it to work. Oh, ah, so, okay. ah, well, so hey. actually, yeah, if we just want uh, to, you know what? Well, we <laughs> should probably find like a playlist or something. <laughs> I have a low volume. We're gonna go see the gunner, see if there's any playlists. Yep. Just, just let those. Rock. Uh, that I'd I'd be a little cautious of that because some songs might be risque. We got low volume. We'll be fine. <laughs> what What's the worst that could happen with a remix uh, soundtrack of Sonic Mania? Absolutely nothing. It'll be fine. All right. So let's let's go ahead. Let's let's just jump right in. Let's travel that trail. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, this is already a good track. Thank you. Uh, trailer theme. This is the best Oregon Trail OST I've ever heard. <laughs> All right. Zellos, thank you for the thousand bits. Uh, asking any games coming out soon that you're interested in. Uh, I'm interested in Tales of Vesperia remake, God Eater three, and maybe Code Vein. Keep lowering this volume just so it's as not distracting as possible for us, but yeah. still hopefully audible. Yeah. Well, uh, we can also lower the physical audio oh, that's on right. the speakers up there. Yeah. 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 Music volume's kind of low. Let's keep it that way. Because we don't want to, you know, what, what if what we get the one song that we're just like, oh, no, cut that. <laughs> All right. All right. So, yeah, I, I could have could have sworn you could be a doctor, too, but it looks like we can be a banker, a carpenter, or a farmer. Listen, we're rich. Or oh, we can press 4 and find out the difference between these choices. Let's see, we can be. Uh, if you're a banker, we will have more money for supplies. Uh, but the banker earns the least points. Okay. Okay. So it's like starting on easy mode, basically. Gotcha. Someone just threw a bits at us saying that they're making a certain cobalt out of clay, and based on the description they just gave, I know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> you crazy fucking madman. Thank you. Cobalt, cobalt, cobalt. I made you out of clay. All right, let's. Okay, we'll we'll start out on easy mode. Let's, yeah. Let's be a, a Bostonian banker. What is the first name of the wagon leader? R and Jesus is my wagon leader. All right, take the wheel, R and Jesus. But okay, we got a name. Name the rest of the party. Let's 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 name one after a mayor. No, he's not. Yeah. Uh, MC Argot Lom wants Bink. I like it. You know what? We we we've been goofing enough. What's the name of the main character in Red Dead? That can be in John Martin or Arthur. All right. Uh, let's just put Dutch in our wagon. We know we know. Yeah, he's a fuck member. that guy. We know he's a member of the gang. All right. And Grant Jr. All right, my baby boy. He's All gonna right. be fine. 
Are these names correct? I can't, I can't wait for him to get swept away when we're trying to ford the river. Why? That's DOS speak for yes. It is 1848. Your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. All right, well, obviously. Okay, I'm. you know what? Blanket rule. No asking for advice. No. We're, yeah, we're winning yeah. this. We will never play that ask advice button. Um, I'm going to say I think April showers bring May flowers. We should probably go in Ooh. May. So I don't think we want to get caught in that rain. Mm. We're walking right into a fucking death zone, right into the oven, though, when we hit July. That's, ooh, you bring up a good point. Should we leave in July so we're going in the winter? How about how bad is Oregon in the winter? I'm, I'm sure, I'm, I think it's pretty good. I think maybe, yeah, maybe we leave late in the year. Maybe yeah. a June or July leave? Look, well, yeah, if we if we leave in July, that means we can stick around in okay, Independence long enough to see the July 4th fireworks. The Independence Day. Yeah. All right, I like it. Yep. I like it. Okay. Let's, let's go five. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $1,600 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. Jesus Christ, we are fucking loaded. In, in 1864? Yeah, that's uh, that's basically $18 million. I'm going to change up our playlist because this has become a Totino's commercial role. Yeah. Uh, funnily and, enough. And yo, Totino's, I love your pizza rolls, but you you got to pay that money yeah, if you want on. me to hawk them for you. Yeah, we can't just talk about them for free. Yep. Not like these In fact, forget you ropes. even heard us yeah. mention the name Totino's. Uh, Destino's? I uh, never heard of them. Exactly. Thank you. D Donatello's? Probably pretty good. I wouldn't know unless they, you know, just saying. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. This oh, Matt, you're looking a little pale there, buddy. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon. Clothing for both summer and winter. This playlist is called the 100 Best Songs from the Nintendo 64. So we're going to right. We're gonna throw that on there. Uh, plenty of food for your trip, ammunition for your rifle, spare parts for your wagon. Oh, them fooder parts sounds good. We have no idea what you chose. Which pick? Oh uh, well, we're, that's why we're picking now. We can. Okay. What do we want to buy? We've got sixteen hundred dollars. Okay. Well, we're quite a wealthy banker. We're not gonna get. Uh, according to Man Bear Zach, sixteen hundred back then is twenty five thousand seven hundred twenty six dollars and twenty seven cents. Oh my God! Now. I can All pay right. off a piece of my student loans with that. <laughs> quite a few bits. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, we're not going anywhere without oxen. That's true. There are two oxen and a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. I charge $40 a yoke. Look at this skinless boy. What the fuck? <laughs> MC Argetlom with 3,500 bits saying, because you accepted my suggestion of bink, also because this is probably the only time I'll have more bits in the bank than probate. Oh, man. <laughs> well, the thank gauntlet's you. been thrown. Thank you very much. All right, how many yoke do we want? He recommends at least three, but we're a pretty wealthy bankist. Uh, <laughs> double it, make it six. Six, six yokes. That's that's a half dozen yoke. We're, we're a lot. Of, we're we're a really high class bank in here. Yeah, yep. exactly. <laughs> Our bankology ge uh, degree is really coming in handy. Oh man. All right, food. We're gonna need food. I recommend you take at least two hundred pounds of food for each person in your family. I see that you have five people in all. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is 20 cents a pound. I, I mean, that's the main food groups right there. Yeah, yeah flour, sugar, that's bacon, the, and that's, coffee. That's the food pyramid I learned. Yeah. Okay, so we need 200 pounds a person. Oh, man, math is hard. Uh, we've got five people. That's, that's 100. 1,000. Yep, yeah, that's 1,000 pounds. 20 cents a pound. So that's 20,000 20, cents. cents, which would come out to what? $20? $200? Um, 20, 200. Yeah, well, I guess we don't I guess we don't really need it in cents. We just yeah. need uh, how many pounds? Just asking, yeah, how many pounds do we Thank want? Thank God so. there are no raiders. <laughs> I mean, 1,000 pounds. What about 1,500 pounds? Just, you know, we're wigging that out there. Yeah. yeah. Just, just get nuts. We're rich as fuck, yeah. right? Man. See, we, we've still got loads of money. Yeah, let's, we'll be able to survive just fine, and I think we've covered already the like, most expensive part. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's get some clothing here. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I represent I represent taking at least... <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's words. It's a good yeah. representation. Yeah. No, that's fine. 
at least two sets of clothes per person if you're a poor person. I was going to say, okay, so that's bare minimum 10. Uh, so that, that would be $100 right there. Do, do we want to get make sure everybody's dapper? And uh, Oh, yeah, our kids I, need to be I'm fucking gonna say fresh. I'm going to say 15. That's three for everyone. Yeah, that way, that way you've got, you know, two sets of everyday clothes so you can wash one while wearing the yeah. other, and then your formal clothes. I like it. I mean, we apparently made ourselves the fucking 1% of the Oregon Trail. Exactly. Also, if Grant Jr. takes anything from his father, he knows how to make naked work. So if he, <laughs> if he needs to skip clothes a couple days. Ah, I see he's taking the deprived str uh, strat and <laughs> yeah. fucking bloodboard. You know what? Fuck. That's a good point. Two extra sets for Grant Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Okay. Insane, that. Man. Oh, oops. That. Uh, hold on. That you replaced it. Yeah. Okay. So that'd be 17. Then there we go. There we go. There we are. Okay. Ammunition. I sell ammunition in boxes of 20 bullets. Each box costs two dollars. How many boxes do you want? Is there any any recommendation of how much ammunition? You should have to as, as I recall from elementary school, this is mostly used for hunting. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we brought a lot of food. So we'll probably... Then again, it's not like it's expensive. And we're rich as fuck. Bring up a good point. When, when the fuck are we going to use money out in the Oregon Trail? There's just coyotes out there. Thank you, Far No End, for the, I'm going to say, 16,000 bits. Because I do numbers good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's grab 10 boxes. Sure. And spare parts. Uh, good idea to have a few spare parts. Here are the prices. Wagon wheel, axle, wagon tongue. Well, okay. it has to speak. Hmm? Yeah. So we need to speak in wagon tongue. We need to speak in wagon. All right. Let's... You know what? Let's just grab five of each. I was hey, about to say five. I like yeah. it. Jump! Well, we need an extra wagon to carry our wagon wheels. <laughs> hey, yeah. Is then what I'm much, getting from then this. Then how much is a wagon, Matt? Yeah. Smart guy. Look, and, and our extra wagon, boom, already carries four, four wheels, wheels right on it. Matt, listen. You only wear striped pants, okay? We yeah. have stripe everything. Yeah. You Ex have to chill the fuck out and work with us here. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, Matt. Are you going to Oregon? No. Sounds like someone doesn't know how to tie some wheels to the bottom of a wagon. Yeah. <laughs> Look, do you want our rich banker business or not, Matt? Fine, three wagon wheels. Matthew! But that means I want ten axles. Oh, it won't even let me. Nine axles. Oh, Matt, fine. Matt, you're really you're doing us a disservice We're here. gonna make it up on the wagon tongues. We're gonna make it up on the wagon tongues. You just talked yourself right out of a sale, Matt. Okay. Okay, I'll compromise, Matt. Eight. Oh, Matt! God damn it! This is not no longer a professional establishment. Fine, three wagon tongues. Still buying them out of house and home, and for barely half of what Good we have. Good fucking day, sir. <laughs> I rolled with the 500 bits. I am packing in advance for Yomacon, and I will meet you and the gang starting on Friday. Spot the dude in leather armor wielding Ragnaros hammer. I, I'm gonna open my own general store and sell everyday items at prices lower than yours, Matt. Eat a dick. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> yep. To me, I think, uh, you know what? Box of ammo, that sounds like maybe only a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> a dollar, man, fuck that. It's 15 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I, Sam Walton, will drive you right out of business, Matt. That's the founder of Walmart. Okay. So, man, yeah, that only. Is the banker, like, really, really good, or am I just... Well... Are we supposed to spend all of our money before we leave, or are there more chances to spend money? There are it more chances to spend money, yeah. Played. So, played. We're, we're probably all I right. Mean, if the game is telling us we have what we need, then I guess we have what we need. All right. We have a long and difficult journey ahead of us, or we would if we were poor, yeah. but we're fine. We worked at bank. Yeah. It's okay. We can just we can just knit all our money together as jackets. Exactly. Oh, it oh, does have oh, oh, yeah. yeah. There it is. That's enough of you, Nintendo 64, wherever the mouse is. There it is. Yep. Uh, go ahead and unmute the uh, Elgato there so that the folks at home can hear. Yeah. There you go. Oh, All fuck. Right. Yankee yeah. Doodle fucking dandy. I'm yep. deaf now. <laughs> Look at this. July 1st, 1848. Weather warm, health good, pay steady, we, rations I thought filling. we were hanging around July, uh, uh, Independence for the 4th of July. Well, let's see. Well, here. Let's stop to rest for four for days. For four days. That's... 
Well, something tells me that's exactly what you're supposed to do at the beginning <laughs> of working <and> trail. <laughs> well, here we can uh, we can buy some more supplies. We can talk to people, do all I'm kinds of talk stuff. Talk to some people. You yeah. Know what? A trader named Jim tells you better take extra sets of clothing. Trade them to engines for fresh vegetables, fish, or meat. It's well worth hiring an engine guy to river crossings. Expect to pay them. They're sharp traders, not easily cheated. Man, Jim, I've got, got a, a really handful of code. beans and a Louisiana purchase that says different. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was uh, that was the French. Oh yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> I don't know. Man, anything. Jim, you got a really gnarly cold, dude. <laughs> nope, that's the space bar, all right. Oh, there we go. Okay, ah, there you are. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's let's attempt to to do some dope trades. Uh, all right. No one wants to trade with us. It's they all they live know. in a happy town. There, where they can only hold three wagon wheels. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, well. Okay. I was apparently thinking Manhattan. It was bought for beads. Yeah. All right. Well, we can <laughs> buy more things. Buy more stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's. Let's grab some more food. Um, what did it say? 20 cents a pound of food. Let's they wanted 100 pounds per person. Yeah, so we got... Let's see. So we got 1,000, so we've already got double that. Let's uh, let's let's grab another, another 500 pounds. There we go. Just uh, bought out everything. Yep. Hemorrhaging money, but we got all this food. Yeah. All right, that's uh, that's probably good enough. I can't, I can't wait for our fucking wagon to not move because we have so much shit. Yep. All right. Well, it's still July second. I th we've we've got to wait for the fourth. Okay. Two. Two days. July third, July fourth. There we go. Now we're heading out on the right day. Cool. Garrus with the five hundred bits. It's my birthday. <gasps> oh, that was a failure. <gasps> oh, oh no! Well, I'm sorry, Garrus. I'm sure you're a, a brilliant scientist. There we go. All right. Survivor brings up a good point. Beads do have more return value than college textbooks. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. Now right. you see here, we're leaving on July 4th, which means that we're we would be hitting the we would be hitting the highway traffic because we're going to be going out at July 4th. But fuck it, we're rich. We don't care. Everybody's yeah. busy with their barbecues and cookouts. Yep. We're we're smart. We're beating traffic. Yeah. Let's continue on that trail. That ripe fucking Oregon Trail traffic. <laughs> yeah. Some asshole with his fucking Hummer on the street. <laughs> you think you own the trail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Get your double wide wagon out of here. <laughs> Move your fucking caravan out of the way. We got rights to. Come on. <laughs> From Independence, it is 102 miles to the Kansas River Crossing. All right. Weather hot, health good, food nine, 1955 pounds. Good times. It's a Wait, good year. Our, they, our they didn't put weight. morale in this version? I thought morale was in this. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's getting rainy. Oh, yes. Yep, here we go. Our first hurdle. Yep. Look at this. It's fine. Oh, no. One oh, of the auctions in it. <laughs> good thing we bought replacements. You are now at the Kansas River Crossing. Yes. Would you like to look around? Of, of course. Sure, why not? Soundtracks have come a long way. Mm. No, they haven't. I can't wait for this to be <laughs> Smash Brothers. This is this is still the best. Okay. No, can... I'm saying this is new. We, we've got this new hotness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we've, this is Red Dead Redemption, remember? We figured it out, yeah. This is the new Western game that came out today. Yep. Red Dead Revolver 3. Mm hmm. Yep, exactly. Yep. Okay, so we got uh, continue on trail, check supplies, look at map, change pace, stop to rest. I wonder if, if we shouldn't. Uh, well, we can. Let's, let's talk to people. Let's see. Who else is at this river crossing? A stream. I'm afraid you can't, I can't afford to take the ferry. We're making our wagon into a boat. <laughs> we'll turn it over, chalk the bottom on its side with a pinch, and use it as a float to, for our goods to get across. Have to swim the uh, have to swim the animals. Hope it doesn't rain. The river's high enough. <laughs> Thanks, old man McGucket. Here I go down the river in a bucket. Here I go. Woo! I'm <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we shouldn't stop to rest and try and let our 
injured oxen uh, be all right. Mm. But what if it rains? Oh, no. Let's see, weather's warm right now. Uh, nah, you're probably right. Yeah, let's see. It's just, just a day. See what happens. No, nah, we're good. Hey, yeah, look at that. Right. Let's see. We can check our supplies. We can. Let's, let's look at the map here. Oh, oh geez, boy. we lost the chat. Hold on a second. Our, a our chat. Our chat computer fell asleep. Actually, while you're surveying the map, I'm going to grab some water over. for myself. There we go. There we go. I fixed it. Oh, man. McGucket, McGucket, McGucket. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, we can attempt to trade. Wait, well, who are we trading with? I don't know. Let's see who wants to trade. You meet another immigrant who wants three wagon axles. He will trade you one ox. Man, that's all our spare axles, though, for just one ox. I mean, money-wise... Boo this man. Boo this man. Yeah. Like, money-wise, that's a good deal, but we can afford to lose our injured ox more than we can afford to lose all of our wagon axles. Can we actually... Yeah. I was about to say, can we go beyond the max of three outside of the town? Because in the <laughs> confines of Matt... Yeah, now that Matt's not here harsh in our style. Yeah, right. All right. Matt grounding us from the 1%. <laughs> All right, I guess we just continue on. Okay, we must cross the river in order to continue. Uh, it is 611 feet across and 2.6 feet deep in the middle. That, that sounds fine. We can afford that. I mean, we can. But do you also think that the ox can take it? We already have one that's fucked up. Also, should... Should a man of our standing be expected to wade through 2.6 feet of water? I mm. say we hire a fairy like a civilized man. I like it. I like it. How much for your fairy? He charges you- Five bucks? That's- Take it! Yeah. And we get to chill out for five and days. And a five-day vacation? Yeah. Hell yeah. Independence is right back there. Hell yeah. I can't wait for this to go horribly wrong. Come on, disaster. Come on, disaster. Hey, we did hey, it. Hey, look go. at that. We're fine. $5 and days well spent. Yep. From the Kansas River Crossing, it is 82 miles to the Big Blue River Crossing. Oh, very descriptive. Poseidon attacks. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Unfortunate Panda? Thank you for the 21 months of sub support. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look around here. Big blue. Oh shit! Yes. Ba, ba, na, ba, 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Weather warm, health good, pace steady, rations filling. We're doing great. Let's let's talk to somebody. Let's see what uh, see what these folks are up to. A lady, Marnie Stewart, tells you, This prairie is mighty pretty with all the wild flowers and much of it, and tall grasses, but there's too much of it. I miss not having a town nearby, and I wonder how many days until I see a town. A town with re real people, shop, church, people. All right. Yeah, can, we can... Anyone can tell me where a girl I can find a Krispy Kreme there. around here? <laughs> I right. say, this here trail got me the vapors. Nobody wants to trade with us? Well, fine. We'll take our business elsewhere. Okay, the river is 238 feet across and 3.5 feet deep in the middle. I don't think that's a problem. I think we can do that. Let's Wait, well, it's telling us we have to ford. Yeah, there's no ferry here. Yeah. Oh, Let's call and float across. I believe in us. Unless that's a real bad choice. We have a lot of shit. Grant Jr. decrees <laughs> number two. Yeah, I mean, we haven't had much rain. I feel like waiting, waiting is a bad move. Yeah, waiting is a very hot ticket to disaster. Oh, I feel it. Hmm. At, at three and a half feet. Is that one we can just go? I, I think we can just go. Let's just, let's ford it. Let's get forded. Three of your oxen oh. have drowned. Oh. Oh no! We lost. Oh jeez! I was right. Thrush Dutch and drowned. Dutch. Oh no! Dutch is dead. Holy oh, shit! Oh no! And we lost our wagon tongues. Oh. Well, that's what we get. All right. 
Kitaguya, thank you for the thousand bits well, there. Well, okay. I, I thought Chad, this was I thought this was a Red Dead prequel, but Ch apparently not. Chad, I'm sorry. We we gave you the Red Dead Redemption spoilers. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Dutch drowns. You heard it here first. Yep. First one to stream. You know, we really I think we are the first people to actually beat this game at world record time though. No, I, I think we're the yeah. first one to at least stream that spoiler. Yeah, we're uh we're speedrunners, basically. Mm. All right. That's right, D Junk. One less mouth to feed. It's true. Now we got way more food. Oh man, let's go to school. Right, everybody's taking our good. sweet ass time to get to school though. Fort Kearney. All right. Uh, you know, right next to Fort Jimbo. Yeah. On your Oregon Trail OST albums, you can find this under Fort Kearney OST. <laughs> Nukaras says, luckily, being rich, you had a life insurance policy on Dutch. Collect a thousand bits. <laughs> Thanks, Nukaras. <laughs> Thank you, Nukaras. Okay. Hey, Dutch, rest in peace. Let's or burn uh, in hell. I don't know what his life was like. Let's see who might want to trade. All right. We need, need them wagon tongues. Let's see. He wants. Ooh, he'll trade us an ox for three sets of clothing. Hey. Yeah, though. Grant Jr. barely needed the clothes we bought him anyway. Yeah, let's do it. Replace one of those oxes what died. All right, let's buy supplies because we're going to need more wagon tongues. 12 bucks an axle. Yeah, that's it's a bit more pricey. That's the thing. The prices go up the farther west you go. Supply lines lengthen. All right, let's get some more wagon tongues. Um, I'm going to say like 25. You can only carry 30. Oh. oh, my God. Matt's reach comes out this far. <laughs> Fine. Matt and his draconian wagon tongue laws. <laughs> Whoops. Hit the wrong one there. Okay, we want wagon tongues, which is six. How oh, many? Three. There we, we, go. we finally hit the mountains. There's going to be Matt riding on a fucking bear with a shotgun. <laughs> Let's see who else we got to talk to here. Big Louie tells you the Platte River Valley forms a natural roadway from Fort Kearney to Fort Laramie. Travelers bound for California, Utah, and Oregon all take this road. Could be the easiest stretch of the whole trip. Should see antelope and plenty of buffaloes. So saith Big Louie. Thanks, Big Lou. Thanks, Big Lou. <laughs> all right. I mean, here's a Would we really bother ourselves to hunt like the common folk? Shh, not on my watch. So uh, We're making good time. 250 miles to Chimney Rock. Let's go. I know what those wild animals do. I hear they eat the rich. <laughs> Found wild Whoa, fruit. Oh, see? this sounds delectable. Oh, pick it all. Excellent. Who needs meat when you can just pick berries off a fucking bush? Wrong trail. Oh, no. What, did we not notice which direction the sun rose in? Did we go <laughs> backwards? Cut that one off. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this was a good vacation. Let's go back home to... Into, oh, fuck. A oh, broken wagon wheel. I mean, We're we got three of them. Not, uh... <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you were able to repair the wagon hey, wheel. There you yeah. go. Did it. God damn it, Google Navigate. <laughs> Lose trail. Ah. It's all right. It's still August. I, I knew we should have used Waze. With this dead tree. I blame that new oxen we got. He's been oh, leading our other chimney. ones astray. <laughs> we're at Chimney Rock. Let's look around. Yes. It's be forgot. It's New Year here at Chimney Rock. <laughs> oh, yeah, on August 15th. It's <laughs> I I declare this year one <laughs> of the chimney. <laughs> Day one of year one of the chimney calendar. I've never seen Times Square so open in my entire existence. <laughs> Look, it's 18... I mean, one. It's Jeff Clark's <laughs> rocking New Year's Eve here in 1848 at Chimney Rock. And now here's David Letterman. <laughs> Tell us what hit single you want Ryan Seacrest to play. Yep. New, New Year's Chimney Rock and Eve. That's us. <laughs> here's Britney Spears doing a song. <laughs> Thanks, Betsy Ross. Get off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, I feel like we should always talk to people. We should be friendly. We should yeah. be neighborly. Selinda Hines tells you. Chimney Rock by Moonlight is awfully sublime. Many Indians came to our wagon with fish to exchange for clothing. We bought a number. 
They understand swap and no swap. Oh, seems God. Most oh. The, what the Ooh. fuck? Ooh. Seems most anxious to get skirts and socks. <laughs> oh, how old is this game again? Uh, so I was looking this up. This, uh, this game is from the 70s. Huh. Yeah. It shows. This this game's been around for as long as there have been computers. Those lousy savages sure do understand swap and no swap. Yeah, I mean, like, if you hand one thing to another person and you point at the thing they're holding, that's pretty fucking universal. Yeah, this, uh, we, we're playing the 1990 remake for DOS, Ugh. which was itself a, a very little changed port from the Apple II version but originally, this didn't have graphics. This was a text adventure. Man, fucking Dwarf Fortress got weird. All right. Nobody wants to trade with us. All right. I, I, I feel like we're still doing keep great. On, keep on going. Yeah. And to anyone who's actually mad at us, don't trust me. We're mad, too. It's just like, it's a fucking 70s game. Oop, very, very little water. water. You pass a gravesite. Would you like to look closer? I swear to God, if it's Dutch. Here lies Voland. Hey, 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 come out and play. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so this was this was a thing in the original Oregon Trail. Uh, when when your party died, you could leave a tombstone, and then in in subsequent runs, you would run into your own tombstone. You'd find your old guy. So we're playing an emulated version on a browser, I'm pretty sure this is other people who have played it on this same website. So let's loot the corpse then. Yeah, clearly. Ah, damn it. Too bad Dutch drown. We don't really have a way to put a grave marker in the middle of a river. Yep. Here be spoilers. <laughs> All right, Fort Laramie. I'm pretty sure this is the opening to F Troop. <laughs> Thank you both for humoring me and laughing. <laughs> that was on Nick at Night when I was small. That's an old ass show. That's real. That's a that's a deep pick. I like it. <laughs> his medal of honor pleased and thrilled his proud little family group. Well, pinning it on some blood was spilled, and so it was planned. He command F troop. Oh uh, yeah, you definitely. We should check our supplies. Sure. Check supplies. All right. We still have thirteen fifty four of food. I mean, we're we're still we still have more now than we were recommended to have when starting. So I feel like we're doing all right. Right, but we're reaching that point where everything's gonna get scarcer and scarcer. Yeah, that's a fair. And we point also too. have lots of fun bucks to throw around. That is a fair point. All right. Let's uh, well, let's see if anybody wants to trade first off. I feel like that's how you can. Hey, oh, another they... immigrant. Oh, they want 212 pounds of food, though. Hey, that sounds like something we could afford. I mean, can we buy the food back? I guess. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, we still are short on oxen after losing three of yeah. them. We gained one, but. And we haven't hunted at all. So guys are saying get water, but I don't think there's no option. Yeah, there's no option. No, I think that just means that it hasn't been raining. Yeah. All right. Boom. We right. did leave in Just July. eat the ox and drink the blood. You know, the new Castlevania is really fucking cool. The new, uh, the new Netflix series Netflix. just came out. I heard that new season is just the first season upside down. It actually is a deep cut to one of the fucking PS2 games. Mm -hmm. There we go. Bought another, another half a ton of food. We're good. <laughs> Can't wait to lose that in the river. Yep. Let's uh, see what we've got to talk to here. A mountain man tells you. <clears throat> well, these greenhorns heading across the Rockies know nothing about surviving in the mountains. It gets awful cold up there, even in summer. Uh, many a traveler crossing the mountains too late in the year has gotten snowbound and died. Uh-oh. I didn't think about that. Ooh. Mm. Well, we've got lots of clothes. We're, we're probably fine. Continue on trail. All right. To Independence Rock. A mare has a broken leg. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Let's stop the rest. We yeah. got to make him get better. Nerds. I don't know. How long do, do broken legs take to mend? Uh, they usually take uh, about three days to set. <laughs> three I would days? Say. Okay, let's do it. I mean, does the mare have the X factor? He can probably bang that shit up in an hour. <laughs> All right. He's. I don't know if it'll tell us if he's good. Um. 
you know what? Let's let's give it another three days and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, you don't get to check on your people in this one, do you? I don't think so. No. All right. What's change pace about? A is broken that like, just like yo, we we rested six days. Let's uh, run double time. Okay, so we okay, yeah, we've been At a doing ruling pace. Jesus. All right. Well, we we've been keeping a steady pace, and that seems like the best idea. Yeah. yeah. So far, we've been doing pretty good. Yeah, I was just thinking maybe we could slow down our pace, but I guess we're already going at the we're, slowest. Yeah, we're going at easy pace right now. All right. Uh, Amir, come on. Like, we're, we're doing easy pace. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Well, in Kitagoya, fun fact, it takes less time to heal a fracture than a sprain. Source, they're currently on workers' comp. Ah. Oh, geez. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's look at the map. Let's uh, get our bearings here. We made pretty decent time, all no, things considered, before bad. shit got bad. Yeah, of course, we still got the Rockies to deal with. Mm. Are we going around the Rockies, or are we going to go through the Rockies is the problem. I don't think there's much going around them unless we want to go down to Arizona, and trust me, nobody wants to go there. All right, well, Does keep Ari on moving! Did Arizona even exist at this point yet? No, it wasn't added I to mean, the, the land mass until... Was, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure it was part of Mexico at this point. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let's continue on. God, we know our American history. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the guy from the fucking East Coast. Hey, that's why we're here to learn. It's fine. My last U.S. history class was in the ninth grade. Oh, so well, okay. Wow, are you serious? We tried to let it. That fucking set. person in chat was a kidding. All right, rip him there. Thanks for all the support. <laughs> Ripping spaghetti, never forgetty. I guess it does say health fair. We could have waited longer oh, until that health good. went back up to good. Wow, I'm... Wow, okay. Grant Jr. still living strong! Bad water. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, who pissed in the canteen? Oh, Grant likes water. That's a problem. Look, Grant right. Jr., you can't pee in the canteen. All right, let's uh, let's let's stop to rest at this point. Our health is poor. Let's, uh... Oh, well, it's back to fair, fair. but yeah, let's, uh... Let's give it a week and see what happens. Died of a broken leg. <laughs> what a way to go. His broken leg got infected. Right. We're still All right. fair. All right, we fair. All right. There we go. Health good. Hey. All right, all right, fair. It's fucking blisteringly hot, though. Great. Oh, no! Oh, I don't like the sound of that. What? Oh. What did you do? Oh, I was lost, and you spent di five days looking for me. Yeah. So I'm back, I assume. What the fuck happened? What did you get out there lost doing? <laughs> hey, man, it's a big west. All right, well, it says health is back to good, so... All right. Okay. I think we're going too slow. Everybody's got too much time on their hands. We need to start going at a more, uh, more strenuous pace. We are now at Independence Rock. What? It's Independence Rocks. <laughs> Sad song. Okay. I mean, we lost two people already. You enter a dungeon. Your directions are. Be where I live. <laughs> South and Dennis. Let's see what these people are up to. Consummate V's. It's me, Big Louie. Welcome back, Big <laughs> Louie. How'd you get? Goodbye, Platte River. Goodbye, Sand Hills and White Buffalo Skulls. Now we climb the Sweetwater Valley to cross the Continental Divide at South Pass. Once across the Rockies, we'll make a steep descent into the Green River Valley. Chat brings up a good point. It's really, really irresponsible of me, of Grant Jr. to get lost with, with a broken leg. That's true. How did he get there? <laughs> see who's got something to trade. The wagon stopped so hard that he flung himself like a million fucking miles yeah. away. Wants a wagon axle, she'll trade 46 bullets. Eh. We haven't used any bullets yet. We are, but check out the food supply, though. We're starting to dwindle. Do you want to risk it to a fort? We're starting to dwindle with 1,200 pounds of food? <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, Grant, we're starting <laughs> to fucking dwindle! I mean, I guess we're in the very, very early stages of a dwindling. <laughs> This is Oregon Trail. That's dwindling. <laughs> well, there's there's no shopping there in any case, so nobody was uh, was trading food. So, ah, oh, 
Uh, it's broken wagon wheel. Let's try to repair it. Hey, hey! Did it. Oh, it's October now. Wow, we've been on the road for a while. It's already Halloween. Bad water. Also, there's only three of us left, so that food's going to go a lot farther. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay, you are now at South Pass. Would you like to take a look around? Sure, yes. why not? Oh, it's that song that yeah. uh, Yosemite Sam wanted Bugs to play on the piano to blow himself up. <laughs> How huh. many D's are in Dixie? What do we got for uh, Two Morbid days. Traveler tells you, my family and I traveled with 40 other families to the Valley of Great Salt Lake to see religious freedom. Back east, Mormons were persecuted. In Utah, we'll join together to build a new community, changing desert into farmland. Again, this was a pass at teaching people about American history, too. Yep. That's... We did have to play this in class. Yep. I mean, I'll tell you this. When I played this game, it was this in Number Muncher, since I was the only person who actually knew how to work a fucking computer and actually know how to run the game. I actually got to skip three classes, because the, the rule of the computer class was if the person's playing a game and they're still on a winning streak... Once they die, then they have to get back to class. <laughs> so nice. if you were I completely you skipped going. an entire fucking day of school, and I beat Oregon Trail, and no one fucking topped me. Nice. <laughs> nice. Also, thank you, uh, Sleepy Sanders, for the thousand bits. Yeah. Saying they're a bit tipsy and wanted to uh, wanted to throw some generosity our way. So thank you. Thank and hope you. you're enjoying your Friday night. Well, cheers as I finish off my first of the evening. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's like, yay, number muncher. I know, right? I got the fucking skip class, and I sucked at math. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, I feel like we're still doing all right. Yeah. Health is fair. Yep. One old school computer game I never really played much. Oh. Ooh, okay. We can head for Green River or head for Fort Bridger. Check out the map. Yeah, let's take a look at the map here. Hmm. Why would we Fort head Bridger's south? south. I, I would say we keep going. Yeah. Personally. The only the only reason I could see to swing south is if we like really needed to do some shopping, but I feel like we're all I right. I don't think we need the shopping yet. Once we get to Fort Hall, holy fuck, we're gonna need to shop. Yeah, but I, yeah, I think we're think we're all right to head straight to Green River. Fifty seven miles. Oh, oh no, severe blizzard. I don't like where this is going. You hey, hey, I like where that went. Yeah, I'm sure. Man, rip those guys. Yep. I, hey, you know what? They probably just left these bullets behind because they were weighing them down. Just, I'm sure these these fine people are alive and well in Oregon or wherever their final destination may have been. In the ground, six feet under. <laughs> Look, if we go, if we time this river walk, we're... no, oh! Grant Junior, broken leg. Oh, yeah, well, it's well, been a fun stream, guys. We're not getting any diseases. It's just fucking fractures. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> all right, let's look around the crossing. Come on, it's got to be frozen if we've been dealing with blizzards all week. So, geez, who's left? Uh, R and Jesus and Bink. Bink. And Bink. Yep. <laughs> look, R and Jesus takes care of his own. All right. Oh, we can. Can we take a ferry? Ah, uh, geez, I hope so. Let's see here. Well, let's let's talk to the folks. Big Louie tells you five dollars to ferry us over the Green River. Those ferrymen will make $100 before breakfast. We'll keep down river until we find a place to ford our wagon and animals. What little money we have left, we'll keep. Thank you, Epan, for the thousand bits. Hey, no, Grant Jr., you were taken from us too soon. <laughs> Man, $5? Perish the fucking thought. Throw that shit in the river. <laughs> Man, I wish I wish we could just uh, could just spring for Big Louie's family too. I don't want them to drown. Yeah, and yeah, look hey, how man. fucking far Big Big Louie's getting. Yeah, Big Man's Louie's making helping us. Real... We'll throw you the five bucks. Yeah. Yo, Louie, you want to make a caravan? Yeah, jo join up, Louie. Come on, we'll go. We've lost like three people, Big yeah. Louie. You, you yeah. Just... How many people you got? Come on, let's <laughs> uh, let's talk about a merger here. Intermingle here. Let's consolidate. Nobody Repopulate the earth and whatnot. Well, yeah. Go and be plentiful. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. You must continue. You must cross the river. It is 412 feet across and 21.6 <laughs> feet deep in the middle. No, let's ford it. Let's ford, ford it, it you guys. Ford it. <laughs> we got a ferry. Yep. Five dollars and have to wait two days. Yep. Okay. Sure. What? Whatever. I want to find out that Big Louie murdered Grant Jr. And now. <laughs> 
Yeah, how do you think he got so big? <laughs> He's really a cannibal. All right, got across safely. 143 miles to Soda Springs. Ox oh, wanders damn off. Damn it. Oh, health is back to good, though. Nice. I mean, there's only two Without fucking Grant people Jr. left. <laughs> Lower than the yeah. average. <laughs> that dumb broken leg of his. It's what did him in the end. He's waiting for Bank has got dysentery. <laughs> Soda Springs. All right. It's a mischievous spring. Guys, we're in the middle of a fucking blizzard. Get out of the water. <laughs> All right. Rick Jr. is dead. A young boy tells you. My job every day is to find the wood for the to cook for the cook fire. Sometimes it's very hard to find enough, so I store extra pieces in a box under the wagon. On the prairie, I gathered buffalo chips to burn when there wasn't any wood. Where are your parents? I don't have any, sir. They drown. <laughs> Grant Junior? <laughs> do, do you want to be the new Grant Junior, small boy? <laughs> Oh, well, because I sure would love to go on a bigger trip. How did you get here from England? It's a very good question. Also, my accent keeps changing. You should, you should probably just abandon me. I might be crazy. Old Man McGucket, is that you? <laughs> just a little boy here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, wants one set of clothing. He will trade you 61 bullets. I mean, we've got 14 sets of clothing for two people. I think we're... I think we're good to make that trade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Young man McGucket. <laughs> All right. 57 miles to Fort Hall. Bink is lost. Son of a bitch. Come back, Bink. White House down. Bink is lost. Oh, please, please. We can buy food now. <laughs> Inadequate crap. Fuck off with that. We've, we've still got nearly a ton of food. All right. Yes, please. <laughs> This it is, is not this sunny home. outside. Fuck you, game. Skip to the loo, my, my darling. darling. Grant Jr.'s dead. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to spread the news. <laughs> New Mayor Grant Jr. of Morgan. Let's see what we got here. Miles Hendrick tells you. Oh. Well, friend, this is where we part. I'm bound for California with an imposing desert to cross. And you, you've got the Snake River to cross, which I hear is no picnic. Right, us? You or the missus, just as soon as you reach Orkin. All right, let's see who wants to trade. Herbs and spices. <laughs> wants one wagon tongue for 44 pounds of food. Ooh. Yeah, we can spare one of our th one of our only three that we're allowed to carry. We Thanks, tried to Matt. buy twenty five of these so we could bring you more. Yeah. So back, just like, turn back around us. Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> but Matt and his infinite wisdom and, <laughs> and avarice gave us only three. <laughs> All right, we can, can buy we, supplies. Yeah, can we buy more food? Forty cents per pound. Highway robbery, I say. Let's see, actually, let's uh, so we can. We're down to down to only two wagon tongues. Let's uh, let's max out on that, and then we'll buy some food. Uh, food, Eesh. grab another five hundred pounds. Why not? All right, we're we are. I was about to say, get, our, get you some oxen. Don't we have like nine? Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty all... Although, the the price of oxen does not seem to be going up. Uh, everything else is going up, especially food. Do we want to risk that? Yeah, let's, uh... Cause we at least need $5 for the next ferry. Let's be real. It's true. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, how many oxen do we have now? 11. 11. So... And that's, like, what? Another fucking 80 pounds that we have right next to the wagon, yet somehow we still can't carry? <laughs> We've repaired a bunch of wheels. Did that spend them? Uh, Ooh, that's a good point. It does not seem to be spending the wheels when we repair them. Okay. 
presumably it's doing a behind the scenes dice roll and if we couldn't repair it we'd need we'd to use, use a whale yeah. or a wheel no a whale okay. yeah, yeah because, the, whale. because the way the wheels worked is that they just got knocked off the hinge and you could put them back on so long as you could lift the wagon jesus christ they, that's two people lifting the wagon all right we'll we'll buy an ox and make it an even dozen all right continue on the trail Okay, 182 miles to Snake River. Okay. Bad weather. Yeah, health is fair. Uh oh. Oh, we're hitting into December. Oh, it says the weather. Oh, well, the weather rough, was warm. Rough trail. Okay. Right. We still fare, though. Yep. Inadequate grass. grass. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Whoop. shit. Severe blizzard. Okay. Lose one day. A single day. That's, That's not fine. terrible. Yeah, That's fine. That's fine. Very little water. We're... Dude! Despite the blizzard. Fuck off, Oh, jeez. Lose six days. Oh, Jesus. Uh, also, uh, gamers... One more day. It's my, it's my birthday. Gamers uh, 07 007 00. Thank you for the 750 bits. Love the MST3K of the Oregon... MST3K of the Oregon Trail. I can speak words. I am kind of shocked that people were, like, attached themselves to my this birthday! as much as they did. My birthday! Happy birthday! And our health got good on my birthday. Yeah! We're at Snake River Crossing. Is that an engine we can trade with? <laughs> that is a very white Native American, by the way. <laughs> okay, it is very cold, but our health is good. All right. Pace is steady, rations are filling. Let's talk to people. A frantic wife tells you, It says right here in the Shivli guidebook, you must hire an Indian to pilot you at the crossing of the Snake River, it being dangerous if not perfectly understood. But my husband insists on crossing without a guide. Oh no! That frantic wife is going to die because of her That sounds like you guys husband. are poor. <laughs> is her husband Big Louie? <laughs> oh my gosh, Big Louie dead? Oh no. No, Rose Shark. My birthday's December 5th. Close. Man, I swear to God, if we find Big Louie fucking dead on a mountaintop somewhere, I'm going to be really pissed. <laughs> Let's cross the river. A thousand feet across and 6.7 feet deep in the middle. Eh, that doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. Uh, do we want to hire someone to help? Yeah, look. They're, Let's they're, do it. They're a proud people. They won't take charity, but if we hire them to do a job, it's fine. Mm. Hey, man, they're going to give us help. Shoshone guy. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Says that he'll take your wagon across the river in exchange for two sets of clothing. Yeah, yes! Done! Go! In Grant Jr.'s honor. <laughs> we do these children's clothes. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this to go fucking Sink. horribly south. Turns out you're a f distant descendant of Custer, and this engine is mad. <laughs> hey! Hey! All right, from the Snake River Crossing, it is 113 miles to Fort Boise. Get all the boys to make the noise. How are we doing on a map? Can we... Oh, hey. Hey. Almost wow, there. that quick? I say that. Oh, oh fuck off. Blizzard. It's all right. It's all right. Look at that. Come we'll be on. there in time for Christmas. This is fine. Gudrun pointing out the Custer's not for another 40 years. Yeah, well, <laughs> that guy knew. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's take a look around Fort Boise. Hello, would you like to see my daughter or this butt I have hanging out? It's 20 office? fucking feet of snow! How is this happening? Also, this is my husband. He's a bowl. <laughs> my daughter is of manageable age in this time and place. <laughs> oh my god, it's Assie McGee. Would you like to buy my daughter? She's great at replacing wagon wheels. <laughs> Please, I just hate responsibility. <laughs> All right, it is very cold, but our health is good. Let's let's talk to people. Aunt Rebecca tells you. <clears throat> at every fort along the trail, prices have been higher than at the previous fort. This is outrageous. They're taking advantage of us. If I had the chance to do it again, I'd buy more supplies and independence. Oh, Aunt Rebecca, I didn't know you were freezer. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right. Uh, we can see who wants to trade. Wants 173 bullets for one set of clothing. Uh, we don't need clothing. Uh, how much do we have? We have 12. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Also, that's most of our bullets. Not that we've been using them, but hey, just in case. All right. I I feel like we should stop to rest. We should we should spend Christmas here. 
Let's give it uh, a what, Christmas. You want to give it to January? Yeah, sure. We'll just hang out for the new year. You know what? Let's make it. Oh, can't. Will only let us do nine days. Not My ten. God, Matt! What the fuck? Stop bogarting you time. You can't sleep for ten days. Yeah, well, we'll do Christmas. We'll do New Year's. It'll be great. I had no fucking idea that Matt's a chronomancer. In the New Year day. Look, okay, we are not setting out on National Hangover Day. Give it one more day. There we go. All right, now let's do it. And see, the weather is only cool instead of very cold. See, it's perfect. Continue on the trail. 160 miles to the Blue Mountains. Oh, jeez. Heavy fog. Okay, one day. okay, okay. Someone you know died. Let's take a look at that map. Let's see where we're at. Wow. Wow, we're doing great. We made great progress. What yeah. the fuck? I mean, other than losing three-fifths of our party, we're fine. This is great. Grand Junior but, would have loved the view. <laughs> listen, so long as no one breaks a finger, we'll be fine. <laughs> Tell that to Amir. Rip Amir. Heavy fog. All right. All right. We are now entering Silent Hill. <laughs> oh, oh, they're mountains. Yep, I see them off in the distance. Health's still good. We didn't lose... Well, that's not true. We lost, like, three ox, but we got them back, like, pretty much. Oh, oh motherfucker. Speak of the devil and he shall appear! Oh, man, we're, we're only 17 miles... Well, that's that's just mountains. That's not, not we're, like a We're settlement. getting to a point, yeah. So, yeah, let's uh, let's let's chill. Let's stop to rest. Let's uh, let, let Oxy Boy... Oxy, oxy cotton here just chill for a second <laughs> so soft ox oxy cotton we call him <laughs> <laughs> yeah we've been on the trail for quite some time guys all right eat the beef well, that's surprised we haven't like had a ch we hadn't had a situation where we had to eat our fucking ox yet it's true all right let's take a look around these blue mountains Okay, that's wrong. That mountain all the way in the back should be purple because that's draw distance and the fuck it art. How how are these mountains gonna be majestic if they ain't purple? All right. I'm sorry, but color theory. I'm still bummed that I had to spend ten like a grand on fucking gouache that no one liked. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean I can't use white? I have to mix these things. They don't sell that shit. <laughs> Marty Stewart tells you. We followed the edge of the desert from Fort Boise to the forbidding wall of the Blue Mountains. The hills were dreadful steep. Locking both wheels and coming down slow, we got down safe. Poor animals, no grass or water for days. All right, our health is down to... Well, let's, uh, let's see if anybody wants to trade first. Wants one wagon tongue for 23 pounds of food. Is this going to be the point where we fucking start losing shit? I, I mean, we've still got over a thousand pounds of food, and yeah. we are most of the way there. All right. I feel like we're all right. We should at least head for the next fort just to spend the rest of our cash. Um, I think. Oh, hey, our health back up to good. Hey. Awesome. Oh, sick. Cool. Looking at nearby people. Okay, we may head for Fort Walla Walla Ooh. or head for the Dalles. Fort. I mean, yeah. Fort Walla Walla already sounds fun, but yeah. No, that looks pretty good. Let's go to Fort. Well, I don't sure. know. The Dalles is like right by Oregon City. Like, we are practically there, my dude. Yeah. You want to risk that? Is this the point where we fucking just fall apart? We've got a thousand pounds of food. Everybody's healthy. Yeah, we've also got a whole lot of money, though. So let's, let's, right. I bet they're shopping. Let's, let's at blow Fort the Walla. rest of our cash before making our new lives here. Oh, no. Impassable trail. Oh, fuck me. Look at that. It's okay, our health's still good. Hey, look at that! Hey! Gonna How spending... do you do that shit? We're gonna be spending Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, man, we yeah, we spent our Valentine's Day up, up the wrong trail. Oh, jeez. What the Told fuck? You. Oh, man. I tried to warn you from beyond the grave! <laughs> yeah, health is still good, yeah. though. Still got plenty of food. Oh, no! Can we kill it and take its food? No? Okay. Mm. Guess right. I'll sit and spin. Let's look around. Uh, oh, that man's got a bad uh, case of arthritis. Jesus and his two disciples. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's talk to people. A Cayuse Indian tells you. You ask, <laughs> you ask us about the Whitman Massacre? 
I ask you why Dr. Whitman's medicine did not cure my people's children. Okay. What? But he caught the measles from the strangers. Yeah. Why did you? Uh -huh. Thanks for putting this one on me. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you like to trade? <laughs> Let's get uh, some snake oil. Another immigrant who wants one set of clothing. He will trade you 93 bullets. Take them. Done. Take Grant Jr.'s rags. <laughs> I'll remember this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my prized rags. See, health is still good. Yeah. Push on. Did we not buy food? We didn't buy food. We don't need food. We've got 900 pounds of food. We're fine. Famous last words. <laughs> Look, our health's still fair. It's fine. Bad water. Heavy fog. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What is this? We found the three mountains with a big blue mustache. It's a big smiley face. We are at the Dalles. All right. Let's take a look around. Oh, this is where everything falls apart. Oh, boy. This is where everything falls the fuck apart. You boys ready? Let's do it. Let's talk to the people. A toll collector tells you, I collect the tolls for the Barlow Road, a bargain at twice the price. Until last year, the Overlander had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now with Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. Big Louie, is that you? <laughs> Big Louie's coming up in the world. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ, uh... how far did you get ahead of us, Lou? All right. You know what? Our health's only fair. Let's, uh, let's, let's give it some time here. Let's just, uh, just chill at the Dalles for Gotta a second. Gotta pay the troll toll, Charlie. If you want to <laughs> see the boys, Saul. <laughs> see, there you go. Health's all right, good all right. Again. Fair enough, fair enough. All right. Whoa. Big Wano oh. toll road. Yeah, we got are, all that money. What, are we going to float yeah. like a peasant? Take it! 1050. Yeah. Highway robbery. All right, 100 miles to the Willamette Valley. Home stretch, boys. Ox wanders off. Piss. what we get for being a banker impassable trail what buy our way to victory mm. playing the banker is like buying the level up dlc <laughs> oh it's rainy Whoa. what is that there it is oh damn it come on one of the oxen is injured don't care keep going keep moving Fuck! oh no oh no severe blizzard in april what is this Come on! Willamette, Willamette Valley. Valley. I think this is it. Willamette. We yeah! made it to Oregon. Yeah. Let's see how many points we got. Two people in good health, thousand points. One wagon, fifty. I didn't realize we could get more wagons. Damn it. Yeah, I feel like we were trying to get more wagons when we were buying repair <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Nine spare wagon parts, 11 oxen, 10 sets of clothing, 301 bullets, 632 pounds of food, $212 in cash. Look at that. You did it. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Look, well, look at these uh, motherfuckers, How though. did you get 7,000? Steven Meek? What the hell? I bet he's a game dev. <laughs> Jeff Lawson gave it a lot of shots. Dev in chat. Check it out. <laughs> New Cross, thank you for the 5,000 bits saying best Red Dead 2 speedrun I've seen. Mm -hmm. mm. You saw it here first on Team Four Star. Yep. Beginning to end. Good stuff. We beat the trail. We did. Okay, guys, that's enough of the bit. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Yeah, we we had our goof. We played some Oregon Trail. Ha ha ha. Now got, let's. Got our yucks out. Let's let's play that new game everybody's been waiting for oh, us I'll to play. I'll switch it. Okay. I'll switch it. Uh, do we have the first player controller? Because this red means it's actually player two. Oh, um, or at least I think that's what that means. If not, I'll figure it out. But okay. Are you guys ready for the game that I've seen called the most rootin' and tootin' video game available? On, on the on the PlayStation 4 right this moment? Several Bothan game developers died to bring you this game, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's time for a little bit of justice. 
of one's justice. Let's mm. get that justice. Yeah. Some good justice. I'm going to pull in my, my online save because I've got some costumes. Not a ton, but a handful. But I hope you guys are ready to uh, hoot and holler. <laughs> yee The old wild west of anime video games. <laughs> now, let's just say you have exactly fifty nine ninety nine USD to spend on a video game this weekend. Mm -hmm. And your options are Red Dead Redemption 2 and My Hero One's Justice. The word academia doesn't even appear in this game's title. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, as someone who hasn't played any Red Dead yet, that's probably the game you should get. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, don't this... a don't ask me. I bought uh, fucking Lethal League Blaze. Oh, all right. Well, hey, you know what? That's another good one. Although I don't think it's $60. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you have zero US dollars, may I suggest converting your old game of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past into a new game oh. for free. Ah. Oh, that does work. Ooh. Infinite replayability. It's true. It may in fact be the last game that you need. Now This sounds like a Genesis song. Some of the, some of the music in this game I like because I think it's just pulled from the show. Other tracks feel very thrown together. That, that man looks like a chant. Uh, that's Darth Vader. He makes cool mm. cameos. Okay, thank you. Uh, this game has what I love. Someone saying something for every option. <laughs> I just, I'm just gonna hear that every time you scroll through here. Um, I was about to say, does it stop you until they actually start speaking? No, thank God. Down? That would fucking suck. So you got your story mode, which is like a motion comic slash occasional, uh, like in an engine cutscene. A visual novel. Story, story mode seems to take place mostly through, I'm going to say, the middle point of season two uh, and into season three. I'm not sure how deep it gets in, but I have a feeling the picture we see here is where it's going to climax. Um, there's mission mode, which is seems to be like, hey, fight these three people in this time limit or with these specific conditions. You basic shit. But what I'm really here for is playing dress up. Oh, yeah. Because that's what I like to do in my Japanese video games the most is... I mean, I play Soul Calibur. You're not wrong. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, I'm a sucker for palette swaps, but I'm not going to lie. I'm really hoping that at some point this gets filled out more. Because only having like their hero suit, palette swaps for the hero suit, and then uniform and palette swaps for uniform, that is not enough. Yeah. That tie for, is incredibly too small. For the base. However, we do get these fun attachments. Now we're talking. Uh. That's, that's when this starts, starts going out. So since he's got this little mouthpiece thing there, I can't put any helmets on, which I don't like. However, if I were to, say, spend the 7,000 coins or whatever, the 6,000 coins to get his uh, outfit. Actually, let's get one. Okay, that says only available for purchase. So I'm not going to unlock this in a story mission later. Let's throw him on this. Now, oh, wait, he still can't wear helmets? Weird. Maybe it's his hair. But there are some outfits that are like, you can't wear helmets because of, their, because of the way the suit works. Wear headphones, though. You can wear headphones, though. Throw a deck with some headphones. Also, natural 20 with the oh, 1,200 yeah. bits and some odd little uh, single you. bits. When's the next episode of TFS at the table? All right. Uh, we got a one-shot of a Halloween special coming on up Tuesday. Tuesday. On Tuesday. Yep. And then the following Tuesday, I don't know because I'm going to be busy moving into a new apartment. So <laughs> I don't know. That's probably going to be the week after. We got the – remember that one dude who could turn people into, like, the little balls? We got his hat. Wow. Press. Uh, we could be from that rival school. Ah. We could we could be the kid who had to, <laughs> who had to deal with the muscular guy. Yeah. We could have the yes! big old Yomi head. Why why would Which, we, uh, why would you do anything else? Quick spoilers for one of my favorite uh, outfits here. Uh, there he is. My boy, I've already dressed, got him dressed up in the one thing he needs. Oh no, I, I accidentally overrode it. Oh well, either way, oh. it's pretty easy to throw it back on. How can you fi fight me with my two heads? <laughs> oh, yeah! Uh, and you know what? For good measure, let's go ahead. Fortunately, I can't afford this. <laughs> but, uh... You're all stupid, so you're going to be looking for a, a, a bird <laughs> who's, like, all black. But, let's see what other stuff we can put on him. He can, he can be a bird with glasses, or... Let's see. Let's zoom in and out is a little... Give him a uh, laser dude, la laser naval dudes. Oh <laughs> yeah, glasses. it's pretty good. Or maybe, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rocking the eraser head. Gran Torino. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
just like, uh, hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm here. You could be Stain, and holy shit, the physics on uh, that Whoa. isn't quite sure what to do with the bird part, which I kind of dig. Uh, or you're going to have different colors for it. You can have a different <laughs> colored beak. Uh, plague mask. Plague mask from uh, upcoming. <laughs> <villain. laughs> Big old hand on yes. his So like, this game has some has some fun silly stuff that you can do to, to dress up your game, uh, which I'm always a big fan of. What? Again, maybe not worth the uh, the sixty dollars they're asking for, but this is this is something that I know I will get a few hours of enjoyment out of. Just being like, hey, you know what? What happens if I give him this dumb star spangled uh, scarf? to run around in and oh since he's got that covering we can't see his kneecap so we can't give him shin guards it's where we and he doesn't have hands with that cloak it's where we find out what tokiyami doesn't dress himself he has his mom dress him all the fucking time and this is why <laughs> man i wish that wasn't so expensive because that's like most of my money there i want to see if, if his hands are showing does that, does that change <laughs> what man you can have a backpack or maybe some more hands little, <laughs> little dolls some matryoshkas you know just uh, just in case that's your thing. Yeah, because I zoom by the, uh, the other hands. Oh, yeah, the, the yeah. hands on his shoulder. Yeah. Just be like, hey, what's up? We, uh, He'll be a little, fine. A little handsy. Or you have the Indian yes. from Ida. Yes. So here, we'll, we'll, throw, we'll, throw the, we'll throw some some All Might themed jets on him. Okay, so his hands are cute and handsy. We'll save that as preset one. Gab D with uh, looks like a thousand bits uh, saying question for Zito. I've started working on the first campaign I will DM and was wondering if you had quick tips for story building. Uh, that's all subjective. You just have to do it. You have to do what you like and want to throw at your players and you adapt. You stick, you, you throw shit at a wall and stick and see what sticks. This is currently uh, the girl who I would say is closest to my main and I've kind of got her decked out in a a nice monochrome theme, I thought. Uh, I could. I recently unlocked the monochrome nice. grenade hands. Nice. So, uh, we'll throw those on there. Uh, did she wear any of these? So wait, how many characters are in this? A uh, pretty decent number, actually. Uh, let me figure that, that kind of matches everything. Yeah. But yeah, so you got you got a bunch of customization options. I want to, to show that off before before jumping on in on it. Uh, if we have another controller, if one of you guys wants to play with me. Yeah, can, sure, I'll give it a go. We can do some, some fighting. Ooh, Nat20, thank you for the tier one sub. Woo! Oh, hello. It is getting a tad warm. But okay, how this works is you're gonna pick a character, and you're gonna pick two sidekicks, presumably. If you can move. I. Uh. Yeah, maybe log in again. It's not letting me. Hmm. Hold on, I bet I know. Uh. It's. I'm wondering if the Team Four Star thing is still logged in. Yeah. Oh, that's that's yeah. what it is. Is this is. This is taking the place of Player One. Hold on, let me let me mess with this real quick. There we go. Now we got it. Should be able to go now. Uh, log out and log back in. So I, th I think it just thinks that your player two, which was. Uh, okay, one second. Hold the PlayStation button. Play. Oh fuck me. Nah, it's gonna. Log. Uh, yeah, power. Uh, and then hit sign it. back in? Yeah. It's not letting me. Oh, wait. Here we go. Just say you're the couch instead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if, you, if you did. <laughs> well, now hit it again. And hit... The, I, you should be able to just hit switch user, and that should do it. Unfortunately, you're not going to be considered Chris Zito, but I think that's the problem right PlayStation. now. PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation is a little wonky when it's when you're trying to figure out who is player one and player two. There we go. This, I presume, will work. Let's hope. Here, I'll jump in. There hey. we go. All right. 
So we got a decent selection of guys. Uh, uh, spoiler, if you beat the story mode, you get uh, one for all. Uh, but I haven't done that yet. But there's an alright number of characters. You pick basically your main, and then you give them two sidekicks. This isn't like Marvel where you can swap. Uh, they, they they only provide assists. All right, let's let's prove to everyone how trash I am. Natural twenty with the thousand bits wants to know what the rules are for Dagon's weapon. I mean, it's pretty vanilla hexblade yeah. from uh, Xanathar's guide. I don't think there's much homebrew involved in that. Nope. Mm. Oh. Oh, duh. Oh, I'm looking at the fucking... I'm looking at the picture going, why am I not able to pick anyone else? <laughs> now you just got your little sidekick one and sidekick two. Uh, all right. Bird. Okay. Which they will be on your triggers. And... Character who should be fucking abnormally strong but isn't. <laughs> uh, some stages have ring outs, uh, which I'd rather can, not. Can can't can and can't be fun. Uh, let's fight inside Gran Torino's house, which I think is a, a fun environment. Um, okay, so the buttons for this: uh, you move around with the left stick. Mm -hmm. Square is like your normal attacks without any input on the stick. Right. As soon as you have a direction on the stick, it becomes a counter, which is just like a one hit thing but you're covered in super armor during it so you don't take hits done okay basically the game is like a game of like chicken and the first one to blink with a counter uh can basically get counter countered because if i start my counter later my invincibility frames will run out yours so it's just us trying to combo each other with normals and escaping with um assists all right and you can double jump you have like a, a dash with l1 r1 is blocked Okay. Uh, with one meter, you can do R1 and triangle for a special move. With two meter, you can do R1 and <laughs> Run around and do what you feel. Yeah. Or, you know, just break ceilings. Yeah, you know, fuck this place. I hate these couches, and I hate this wall. And fuck your kitchen. Okay. Buttons. All right. I think we're ready to start. All right. Wow, that was a dumb idea. <laughs> Cool move. Basically, what you're gonna wanna, gonna, gonna wanna do is once you start getting hit, just let go of the left stick and just start wailing on the square. Uh, your triangle and circle will use your quirk, uh, uh, and they can also have a direction to uh, do slightly different things, or you can charge them. Nice, you got me stuck in a wall. Um, yeah, sure, buttons. That, that's what's happening. So basically this game is a lot of like kind of like hopping around, usually shooting something at somebody, and I'm trying to get in close and do your combo. Oh god! And you can press L1 to basically chase me to where I am. Uh, uh, or L1 in the air, sorry. So one thing I noticed with this that uh, I think is pretty disappointing, there's no English dub option, which isn't a huge shock. A lot of anime games No neutral Spanish? No neutral Spanish or anything like that. <laughs> but what I think is pretty disappointing is there are no, like, subtitle options. Like, there are spots where characters are talking and there are, there's no subtitles whatsoever. It's just, just, well, all right, I have no idea what Froppy says when she fights Earphone Girl, and I never will. I'm pressing X like an idiot because I keep thinking I'm playing like Soul Calibur. Nope. <laughs> Your block is R1. Nice. Good count. Oh, come on. I framed. Uh, nice. My, listen to my heartbeat. No. Thanks, no. Gravity girl. No, please. I'm a frog. Ooh. That was cool. Ah, Christ. Now 
Uh, I don't know anything as far as like who is actually good or not good in this game. Uh, I'm going to say Todoroki seems pretty broke. But Earphone Girl also seems really good because all of our sound stuff, I hit you with it. But, but, but if I hit you with it, you get like a head and stun for a second. Oh, oh, Cocophony of shit happening! That's a lot of colors. <laughs> oh, nice. Man, close match. Here. Alright, so we've got a meter now, so. Oh, jeez. R1 in circle is like your big, big ass super. It costs two meters. That's anime. Boom, anime specials. That's that did half my health. <laughs> that rope there doesn't exactly help her pose. Uh -oh. oh, get frogged oh. on. Ah. Fucking squandered. Yeah, you missed me with the with the cinematic hitbox on it. I've, I've found that getting like one regular ass jab in and then going immediately into super seems to work for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm using them at really bad spot. Save me, Gravity Girl! <laughs> Damn. Whoop. Oh! <laughs> Took me out. See, there you go, Zito. You've already got it figured out. <laughs> I'm sure whatever you said was adorable. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it was. Best girl, like, yes. <laughs> I'm sure. Hey, I'm getting your points. Thanks for the 200 coins. Oh, man, I'm a chump. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, I feel like there was just a lot of cut corners in this. I, I think, actually, the mechanics of it are okay. Camera can be really wonky, as we saw there a couple times. Um, but I actually don't think like this is like a horrendously unfun game or anything. Yeah, it's the Image Comics? Fuck yeah. yeah. Dickhead and Dickhead 2. Easy. Rant, Nukaross just gifted you a sub. Hey, thanks, Nukaross. I'll be sure to use more uh, DFS of table emotes. Oh, Omega. Oh boy, Image Comics. The fight in the villain bar is where this fight happened. These two kind of had a short scuffle. But yeah, it just seems like a really weird cut corner to be like, you know what, let's not subtitle those entrance and outro segments. Uh, or have this loading screen be just a weirdly off-brown color with text <laughs> and a small floating gif. Like, it just seems like a lot of, hey, we're going to throw this here. It's kind of placeholder. We'll get to it eventually. And just didn't. But I don't know how much. I don't have a nose! Round one! You're the hero killer, and I'm just a villain. I don't know why you want to fight me. Yeah, if there's one thing I know about video games, it's that they are time-consuming, expensive, and hard yeah, to like, make. Like, so. this is not a criticism. Like, these lazy developers, like, I am sure there's a very good reason for all this. I'm just saying as a, as a consumer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to touch you with my gross hands. Oh boy. There's two of them now. Get him, Deku! Oh fuck. Oh. This game definitely has a lot of like, I'm not sure what's going on! Yeah, I, I can easily see like why I'm like, okay, it's cool, but what the fuck is going on? So, like at the same time, I've definitely had fights where it's like I knew exactly what was going on, and a bunch of people yeah, were just getting to that point. And, uh, stop calling the center of getting there. <laughs> Bad move for me. Zito, is this gonna be like a Zeno. Xenoverse? I guess when uh, 
<laughs> Turns out you're the best at, <laughs> at the anime fighters. Yeah, you're running up and, and doing counters like you Oh, that's, a, that's a grab. Yeah, if, so if they have like the yellow, that's when they have super armor. If it's red, that means it's a grab. I think the wall running is a cool idea, but I think it makes Oh yeah, this is fuck this is this is fucking with me. It also makes zero sense for like that would make sense in a Naruto game. Yeah. That is canonically a power that literally everybody has. Yeah, and it's not exactly a, a my hero thing of like and we just kind of ignore gravity. Ooh, I can block What's cool, I don't know I don't know how Stain works because I haven't really played him, but like characters who have like interesting side effects, their powers, like those side effects are represented. And I really appreciate that. Like uh, if you get grabbed by uh Eraser, you lose your quirk buttons. Like those just get locked for like a minute. Oh nice. And so it's like a, okay, like his power is blocking people's quirks. And you can do that. Or um, Todoroki, if he sets you on fire, like, take some burning damage. Or uh, who else has that? Endeavor. Endeavor also has the fire stuff. Um, I, know, I know I've seen other weird mechanical things. Uh, oh yeah, Kaminari, electric guy. If he uses too many electric moves, he becomes stupid. He can't move. Like, Let's go! My power is just disintegrating people. It should be an instant kill. <laughs> okay. I got him. You did it. I rolled him for me. I'm just doing nothing with it. Uh, R1 in circle. Just go ahead. Oh, okay. R1 in circle! There we are. No, I was in the middle of my get up animation! You put me on the floor for too long. Oh well. I'm Shigaraki! Okay, yeah, your character must have something because you had knives in me and I was bleeding. So I'm sure there was some sort of like, press another button or do some other command and it freezes me or something. USAB. <laughs> Natural 20 is of the opinion that there should be a giant, fat, overpowered, magical dog in the D&D campaign. All right. I'm not sure if that's a, an inside joke that went over my head or what, but... A big... Giant, fat, overpowered magic. Oh, that's. Oh, they're they're making an unexpected reference. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, as far as DLC goes, Endeavor and Shoot Style Deku are the two uh, DLC characters available right now. Shoot. shoot. Oh shoot. Uh, Deku is free for I want to say like the first month, and Endeavor was four dollars. Uh, but I split it with one, uh, Tyler, for, so, uh, I only take for half. But again, dumb dress up is, I'm going to say, 99% uh, of the appeal here. Mm -hmm. uh, the combat, I think, is okay. It, it, like, there might be some depth to it that's super fun, but from a cursory, cursory glance, I'm not really seeing a whole lot. And when I explained it to Kieran, Kieran was like, oh, it sounds like this, this, and this game by the same developer. And I'm like, oh, okay. So this is something <laughs> they've done. The only hand things I've got so far are Bakugos things. So everybody's got them. <laughs> if I've got custom costumes. I mean, they're pretty fucking cool. Though, yeah. So if I'm going to get it, like, you can only have one. Okay, so now that you've got my blood, you can press, I want to say, triangle or circle, and you turn into me. And now you have, like, she's this game's shape, so she uh, takes my power and becomes me. Nice. So, hey, guess what? You didn't need to buy the DLCs, you know? You've got Shoot Style Deku right here! Fuck yeah! Here I go! 
I'm I'm digging the uh, the purple aura so that you can always distinguish them easily. That's a good quality of life touch. That perhaps Mortal Kombat could have thought of two decades ago. <laughs> Also, not an entirely big surprise, since a lot of fighting games work this way, but I'm playing against fighters where this isn't the case, it's been confusing me. You cannot block in the air. <laughs> Why? No no jumping blocks. Only block on the ground. You are in the air, you are small. Oh, nice. However, you also move much faster in the air, so that's the trade <laughs> When I played her, it felt impossible to hit with that. You've got me like three times. Oh boy. Oh, I don't like this one here. Counters, come on. Super, I don't know if I'm looking at you. I did it. You were not looking at me and you somehow still got that. I'm a little confused. It might auto-correct once you trigger the super. I'm not sure. Although I feel like supers are kind of to get with and I'm just a bunch, so... I don't know. Don't you dare beat me! Ah! Yeah, spoilers, by the way, for people who haven't seen the third season of the anime, but... Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's it's right there in the game. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, I apologize. I forgot about that being a thing, and remember complaining about when I got spoiled yeah. by this game. I should have thought about that. But, uh... but hey, here's a power of Oh, I'm running right for you! <laughs> I can't land a super. Yeah, I, I think I feel like supers in this game are things you have to combo into. Her super is that she finally finishes her orgasm and smokes a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> finally, all that stuff. Sis, oh, the flex out. Go, oh my! I got him. <laughs> I stopped blocking at a very bad time. Nice. Jesus. Turned that one around. Final round. Ready? Crash. One. Got me. That was enough. That was enough, uh... Genetic material. Yeah, I'll go ahead and tell you this. You're better at this than I <laughs> Excuse me, I was transformed. No! Put you in the ground. I feel bad. I want to be able to have Tyler on more cash fry stuff, but because it is so last minute, the last thing I want, because he lives so far away, yeah. is for him to arrange for a babysitter, get all the way here, and then we do something he's not interested in, or... Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Zito, I'm going to say to basically guarantee landing a super, get like one or two jabs in in your combo, and then bust it. Mm. It just interrupts whatever you're doing. Boom! Nah, I just smashed you. Yeah. yeah. That's something. That's something he does like in like the first three episodes. Can't wait for this to not work. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> fuck me. I told you, hit me a couple times first. You can't just do him. You can't do him to supers. Oh boy. <laughs> but you still can win. <laughs> I have to hit with supers to keep up. Yay. <laughs> I did it. I feel like she is just a big fetish of the author, of just the obsessive girl. With just constant Agao face. <laughs> well, gentlemen, I believe it actually is. Oh, Fox. is it time? Yeah. Well, hey, that's My Hero One's Justice. I'm going to go ahead and say I think we've already given it the due it deserves. <laughs> uh, however, if you're a huge My Hero fan and like playing dress up like I do, I don't know, get it for like 30 bucks in a few months, I would guess. Yeah, it seems pretty all right. Yeah. 
But anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, does anybody else have stuff they want to shout out or talk about before we close up? I suppose so. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Tonight, uh, after I eat dinner and decompress a little bit, I will be streaming Lethal Leak Blaze and uh, Soul Calibur 6 doing some online fights with the community. You can find me on twitch.tv slash HBI2K. I play lots of Link to the Past randomizer, but don't watch me because the fall tournament's going on right now, and there's lots of better people than me playing, like, <laughs> all the time on Twitch. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and you can find me twitch.tv slash masterwgs. I haven't streamed in, like, two weeks. I'm real sorry. Everybody who's looking for it, but I've just been low energy this week. It's been it's been one of those things where I've gotten home and just been like, I'm just going to chill for a while. Yep. But that's that's also why I haven't been streaming in the evening much because I get in and I think, yeah, I'm totally going to do a thing. Oh, look, qualifiers are on. Yeah. I'm, I'm and, probably going to watch other people enjoy yeah, exactly. the game that yes. I enjoy. Pretty much. <laughs> that's okay. I'm probably going to go dark for the next week and a half. Yeah, so you're going to yeah. be moving, so uh, you're going to have some, some time. <laughs> but Thanks, everybody, for showing up. We did it. We beat Oregon Trail. I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2. Yep, we beat stream. it. Red, Red Dead Revolver Red 3. And had, and, and had time to play some anime. Yeah, good what, times. What more could you ask? And that was that was after opening the freaking stack of fans. Yeah, now. exactly. So a big, big eventful casual Friday. Yeah. Uh, thanks again. And good night, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Bye, guys. Bye. of us exist in other worlds. We are building the gateway to the multiverse. There's got to be a way to destroy this machine. This world will not last. Help me change it. Kid dad. Is Dad's dead? Not anymore. Oh, okay, good. He's a Koopa. He literally hid in his shell in, okay. his, in the stomach of the dragon for ten years because apparently Koopas are immortal when they go in their shell. You know what would be really weird? If someone only played the first two Paper Mario games, yeah. right? So they, they've developed, as a kid, they only played Paper Mario and uh, Thousand Years Old. And they learned so much empathy Goombas and Koopas, and then they play uh, regular Mario games and just slaughter them by the hundreds. Yeah. Also, Stream 4 Star rated us with 306 oh people. Oh my god! What, what the fuck is up, everybody? We're playing some more of Paper Mario. Hi, everyone. Yep. Whoa, dogs here. Hi! We were gonna try and stream stream a plug and play that you oh, that you story. acquired from a Walgreens. Oh yeah, oh man. Oh my Good God. shit. Yeah. We're I mean, never playing this. Because yeah. the, the plug and play did not have enough etern internal power. It ran on three AAA batteries. AAA batteries. And it couldn't get it to, to, to 